a lovely thing to be able to do, to provide something to give people the opportunity to experience the air. I can't believe Mark's actually measuring up a road tax. <laughs> <laughs> You need to what? Report a crime. Of what? Of sexual deviance. He tried to rip your trousers off. <laughs> <laughs> I was like flying along, but it was always suddenly my trousers went whoosh. <laughs> so, uh, so you've just arrived, and what do we have before us? First nine. Yeah. The, or the first nine trike, not the nine wing. There's two nine wings out there in existence at the moment, including two other nine wings that are on their way over. Really? Yeah. Is one in yellow by any chance? Could be. <laughs> um, and yes, yep, we're here to publicly display the nine. Yeah. Uh, so this is its. You've first been hard theory. at work on the sewing machine of late, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> Doing the Doing all the fairings yeah. and so forth and sculpting. Um, so you're, you're still so developing forth. it really, aren't you? Yeah, but it's getting, it's getting closer to being a production item. We're talking about a matter of days rather than weeks, rather than months. Yeah. Um, inclu <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Mark's actually measuring up a road tax. <laughs> a bit of ballast on the front. That's it, I'll retire, I'm giving up. <laughs> I'm going back to my roots. It's only when Ben brought the, uh, as you can see behind me, the new nine behind me, and we're currently working on, uh, Sam, your trike's here, um, the dragonfly, we suddenly realized that this, or well, you pointed out, this is where it all started, wasn't it? This was the reason for it. This is where the, the trikes, fly like trikes all started, which was the dragonfly. Yeah. Now I overheard you and I've got it on video with you talking to Jerry about the reason for you having to design this because you broke yourself, you broke your leg, didn't you? Yeah, and, uh, uh, quite a serious accident. So yeah. it meant that I was going to be, well, at the time I thought I was going to have to have an amputation. So um, I needed to devise uh, a machine that will be able to, I'll be able to fly, and mm. I could do it with a prosthetic leg. Yeah. Um, so while I was going, I went through six major operations at Northampton General, uh, fixing my leg. And during that period, uh, I started designing up um, a trike. Yeah. And um, there was a lovely uh, symbiotic relationship set up with my surgeon and myself, uh, Mr. Natarajan. And um, he was fascinated with my drawings and what I was doing and creating. And likewise, I was fascinated with the procedures and the operations um, that he was doing. Those might recognise the gentleman behind me. He is actually that tall. Yeah. <laughs> I just look big stood next to this. <laughs> is it because it's big? It's tiny. Ben, excuse me, but what's, what's this one? Wow. That, we That's amazing. That one yeah. Out. yeah. Okay. It just See, looks so small. The, the word, uh, wow. Yes. Ah, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> wait till you fly it. Oh, I can't wait. So that is a genuine response, isn't it? Yeah. It just looks awesome. So there you have it. Initial reaction from someone that hasn't seen it before and the word wow comes out and that's before they've even flown it. So uh, I'm desperate to try and get your response when you have flown it, yeah. which would be pretty awesome. I can't wait. Superb. What are the other words we're allowed to use? Awesome. Awesome. Superb. Stunning. 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 Yeah. yeah, they are. We're buzzword bingo. John. Paul. It's well, dangerous, mate. I know. It's That's dangerous. Last time I did this, it cost me 14 grand. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I don't need a try. I only need a wing. No. That is true. But they, you can go one down on those and then also put the triangles on to make it go forward. That. Just looks so small. <laughs> mm. Are you still pondering, Paul? <laughs> oh, I've already made the big decision. The next decision is how do I tell Sharon? <laughs> I thought you had told her. Well, I've sort of done a bit of groundwork, but. 
Anyway, digress. The, uh, this was back in 2005 to 2006 that I started scheming. Uh, we'd built a prototype by 2000 and, uh, 2006, which I tested flying around on our bivouac tours in northern France, where we take um, uh, doodlebug uh, powered hang glider customers around from airfield to airfield. And the, um, the light trike, as we called it then, actually gave me the opportunity to get back up into the air. But um, from there, the design, uh, we started getting orders in for the design and we made it as sophisticated as we could with retractable undercarriage, as you can see, going into the fiberglass fairings. Um, and the orders start, started coming in thick and fast. Um, the next thing that uh, we did was to um, start putting different machines, uh, different wings on um, uh, over the course of time. The, uh, we started getting dealers from around the world coming in, interested in selling the machine. Um, our German dealer wanted to certify it, which we did in Germany, and that gave us an opportunity to do the full load tests, noise tests, flight tests uh, on the product. So as way back as 2007, we did complete uh, load tests and certification on the Dragonfly to the German, um, the German uh, criteria. So before flight, I'm going to see what your responses are when you come back, all right? <laughs> Mildly optimistic. Need to report a crime. You need to what? Report a crime. Of what? Sexual deviance. He tried to rip your trousers off. <laughs> no, nobody said that, did they? I was <laughs> like anything. flying along, and I was always suddenly my trousers went whoosh. I was like, whoosh. <laughs> Initial thoughts? Uh, that's mint. Yay! <laughs> we we had a sweepstake on what word you were going to oh, yeah. use. Both, both it's awesome. Oh, you have to share the yeah. Awesome, he's nice. Yeah, that's quick, that. Did you yeah. like it? Did you like it? Yeah, the the he took. Um, I think because I'm sitting there with a monster on, trying to fly a bit like a PB, and so I took off and came off the power. And I'm like, I, it does need a bit that bit more power, don't it? And so I, I was tra used to the engine note that that I'm used to flying to. And I'm like, and I tried a few rolls at slower speeds, and it was lovely and stable, apart from the the lumpy stuff. But then when I slowly started pulling back on the speed and, and certainly when I was sort of past where hands off trim wants to be, then it was like, Jesus Christ, that thing moves around. And I thought, I'll take a tailwind down and then to NASA mode. There, really, really <laughs> it's like, it. <laughs> the ground's going by real quick. <laughs> Do you like the landing though? As I say, you come in really quick and then it just holds off. Yeah, holds I, off. Um, I was expecting it to drop out the sky. I really was expecting it, it to just go boom, and it didn't. And even when I put the um, even when I put the gear down, I was expecting it to break a little bit. Um, but it lands lovely, doesn't it? It's like, quite it's quite funny because the uh, most comments from myself, Sergey, Giles, Phil, Paul, yourself, it's a little bit as opposed to just going. You know, that's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> it's like it's like what's just happened. Yeah, it's multi level <laughs> multi levels of what's yeah. just happened. What yeah. have I just experienced. <laughs> and that gave us a wonderful insight to be able to understand the design, the concept, the strengths, the weaknesses and so forth. So all our trikes uh, emanate from the dragonfly. Um, we've changed very little in the structural geometry on the trikes other than probably shorter span elements which will you reduce the length of an element and you increase the, uh, the bending loads and resistance 
of that that element so in, in other words it makes it slightly stronger and more able to take uh, a greater range of weight um, uh, so yeah right up to our trikes at the moment we know that they are thoroughly tested now I'm going to jump to our chat earlier when we talked right around the the nine because effectively what we've got here is the beginning of where you're sat yeah it's the beginning of the the genesis of the the fly light trike through to the nine but, uh, there's some a lot of different and subtle features to this isn't there um subtle features yes in the um this is all PB. We haven't finished the um, development for the binnacle, the instrument binnacle uh, and the windscreen. It's going to be partly carbon uh, composite and also fabric. You've already got uh, carbon underneath. I've we've seen got the... the carbon underneath, which is thanks to Mark and the Raptor, we're going to um, adopt, uh, adopt that and it will be a similar finish for the uh, instrument binnacle and then coming further down we've now extended the pb fairings rearward and uh, so increasing the stowage capacity and uh, ta tailoring it in so we have a nice little baggage area which you can access quite easily to uh, securely put in um, light clothing, tents and so forth and easy access to the battery at the back. What other features have we got? Uh, it's all in um, wash clean fabric <laughs> which um, that doesn't look like your normal engine that you would use. Uh, oh no, who put this on? <laughs> now we're we're playing around at the moment. We're working with, we've tried the Cosmos, the Vitarasi Cosmos 300 engine on the 9, which is very good. Um, unfortunately, we have an EPROP fitted to the Cosmos and the EPROP that we have has a, has a constant speed effect. So we're still tinkering with that one. The engine you see here is the Polini 303. Um, gives a little bit more horsepower um, at 38 horsepower and um, that has a helix prop which is a fix, fixed blade prop so we should be able to test that sort of fairly quickly but the big thing the real big thing about the 9 is it will happily go with a Moster 185 so the PB trikes uh, any derivative of a PV trike like an Adam trike or may well fit quite easily onto the 9 wing and the 9 wing um, has in an incredible speed range it can fly as slowly its minimum speeds 26 miles an hour maximum speeds 90 miles an hour and it will fly quite happy within that range so and it gives some returns a very good performance so for instance the Mosta 185 will give a um, hundred kilo pilot a reasonable climb rate of around about 500 feet per minute um, at a, obviously a slower speed and it will have a, a cruise speed or a maximum straight and level speed of around about 60 65 this is with a Mosta 185 put the Polini on or the Cosmos on and then you'll be moving up to maximum straight and level of about 75 miles an hour and again top speed of 90 but you will be descending at that it's definitely not a sub 70 aircraft it's not wing. sub 70 no it is ssdr it is uh somebody who's got a quick r somebody's got a gt450 or a quick um any of the contemporary two-seater trikes could jump on this and find it fairly familiar um, they'll find the handling a little bit lighter, well, quite a bit lighter actually, <laughs> but performance wise will be very, very familiar. But that, that. And, uh, and, and that's where it's, it just seemed poignant that we do this chat here where we've got you in one aircraft and then we've got the current generation sat right next to you. How, yes. does, that, how does that kind of make you feel seeing where, you, where it was to where it is now? Um, well, yeah. <laughs> 
makes me feel very old. <laughs> <laughs> now, you see, it's the million dollar question. I, I tend to get less phased by it than most people do. So I tend to get, you know, quite a lot of folks sort of saying, oh, how do you feel? You must be so proud. Yes, you know, I'd be wrong in saying that. I wasn't proud. I'm enormously proud. Um, it's a lovely thing to be able to do, to provide something to give people the opportunity to experience the air as as I do. Um, but for um, for me to sort of view at each one and the progression, it, it it brings it brings time to a, to a stop in a way. It's a very hard way to uh, to say. But when I look at the Dragonfly, I still see a contemporary aircraft and still all uh, again i'm awfully proud of the dragonfly and the styling and the shape uh, and i think that it's lasted the um uh, the test of time enormously but then i look at the uh, well look at the seven i know the seven intimately as we're sort of designing and building it and it's a different medium the same seven or the nine sorry did i say seven Oh, let the cat out of the bag. No, it's the nine. <laughs> originally, I'll just explain that. Originally, we were going to do a seven metre, a square metre wing, which would have been the ultimate. However, you would need a Rotax 912 or an 80 horsepower engine to go and power it. Bill? <laughs> What's your yeah, thoughts, Bill? It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah? Yeah. So what colour are you going for? Red. You're going for red, are you? Yes. Don't, yes, the red looks good. Yeah, I like the red. And red and black. Red and black. With the, you with can buy it with, with winglets or without. With winglets. With winglets. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> seen Bill smile for a long time like this. I haven't felt like smiling for a long time, but this is, <laughs> this is lovely. Oh. This is gorgeous. Because you've already got a Thor 250, haven't you? So your trike will take this wing. Yes. Yeah. So you've just got to get a wing. Yeah. All I've got to do is to is to sw swap the wings. It'll 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 go on my Fox Cub with the with the Polini Thor 250, which which is what you flew it. Yeah. You've you've already tested it. It goes up uh, between 800 and 1,000 feet per minute on the 250. On the Thor 250. Yeah. Wow. And you can hold quite comfortably 75 miles an hour straight and level. <laughs> Which is getting on for twice my normal yeah. cruising top speed. speed. No, that's, not, <laughs> that's not top speed. You pull the bar in and then you should, you should have seen him pissing around <laughs> at top speed. It just, uh, suddenly just go whoop. Because yeah, you flew this the other week, didn't you? I saw, I saw Ben do the first flight of the day on the downwind leg. And he was flying along, flying along, flying along, and then suddenly it's like reheat mode kicked in. The nose yeah, went, and just went, it, just <laughs> And then when I actually took it up and did the same thing, you see, you know, wow! And my wind dam was getting jammed up underneath my chin. I'm hunkering down behind the screen trying to maintain this. Yeah. And I looked at GPS on that first run, 92 miles an hour, I hit downwind. It's a lovely feat. Yeah, and that's yeah. a big smile. <laughs> I tell you what, when you've got your wing on your trike, and I've got mine here, let's go for a fly together. How about yeah. that? Definitely. Are you getting one? Yeah. Mine, mine's the next one. I was, I was waiting for, for a slightly longer feedback from, from, from what you gave in your original post, which was wow, wow, wow. <laughs> well, it's a, it, it, he wasn't the first. No. no the, him over here, his first go in it was, he was rendered speechless. He didn't know if he liked it or disliked it. He was unsure what had just happened. <laughs> And that, and that was the problem. I, I didn't quite know how to articulate what I just experienced. Now I could see that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so hopefully this will have come out after the WOW video oh, and this will tell everyone what's going on today. But if people haven't seen the previous video where we chatted about the, my initial thoughts or um, when, I, when you invited me down to Cywell to fly the, the wing before the trike was available and we chatted with Paul, who mentioned about the chaser, there's clearly a, a generation that have been very passionate about the chaser. You've flown the nine against the chaser. What was the results? Um, <laughs> very, very pleasing. 
as um, unfortunately I was in the nine I say unfortunately it meant I couldn't turn round and look back because uh, I was flying approximately 90 miles an hour uh, 85 to 90 miles an hour Phil Osborne I don't know where we've Phil's lost Phil in the hangar somewhere he's, he's run off somewhere Phil was flying the chaser uh, Phil had an advantage on me because he had he weighs in at uh, 95 kilos it also had the more powerful engine as well whereas i was on the nine with a monster powered um, en engine so 27 horsepower for me and uh, 36 horsepower for phil and uh, i went past him probably about 10 miles per hour faster than if so only we had footage of that. Chase, footage. Chaser would have been doing 75 miles an hour. Yeah. Uh, so I was doing, as I say, probably about 85 plus miles an hour. Yeah. Um, but as I say, I couldn't see it. So <laughs> the only person who could see it truly was Phil. Yeah. And uh, he was in the losing, on the losing horse. So following chat quickly there, uh, this is an interlude. So we've got Phil. Phil, you were flying with Ben, weren't you? You were on the Chaser yep. with the Pellini 250. That's right. And Ben was on the 27 horsepower. Yeah. Um, did he leave you for dust? He did. He came right back <laughs> past me and I'd got a bar to chest position. Hmm. Uh, but he was going down. Yeah. Uh, and I was maintaining, but yeah. I've got a bigger engine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got plenty of balance. Yeah, but was it just weird seeing him go past with so little power? That's what I expect from Darwin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, but yeah. See you later. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it just shows the difference in technology, doesn't it, between yeah. the two wings? Yeah. Um, and we swapped over then, and I didn't say to him. So. Yeah. So it was very evident, even with the limited power, that it just made it so, so, so much faster. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so watch out, chaser pilots. This might be the new chaser. The nine is the new chaser. Would you agree with that? Oh, absolutely. It's yeah. it's an up to date chaser. It's an up to date uh, chaser and more. Brilliant. All right, Phil. Thank you very much. But it just shows the technology but it, that's available it, now. It shows that we have increased uh, specifically on wing design because we're flying um, a lower horsepower. Uh, unit mm. and yet we're still going faster um, which is the design uh, one of the design criteria of the nine to make it operate on quite a, a selection of 25 26 horsepower engine trikes out there at the moment and also it can fly on the the more powerful 38 40 horsepower which is why you put trikes. the Pelini 303 and exactly. the cosmos 300 yeah. on the back end you will get more potential in terms of faster cruise uh, and faster straight and level with the larger engines but you still get um, a huge amount of uh, fun for your bucks um, with with the the old PB trikes or Adam trikes yeah. or any of the derivatives of those trikes. Yeah. Quick performance. So I'll have a word with Vic, <laughs> and we'll have a little chat and uh, well, yeah, see what's doable. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a lot of wing up there, is there? There is. You sure you've got all of it on there? There could be less. Could there? Yeah. Then it won't take off. Surely. <laughs> it's quite well, you have to do 70 miles now to take off. How efficient the wing My is. My God. Oh, I bet it's crazy. I bet it's nuts. There go the words wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet it is very wow. And it's the first time we'd seen Charles speechless. <laughs> Yeah, he's not usually speechless, is he? No, well, he, could utter, he could utter one word, which he repeated three times. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. We've all, we've all wow. So everyone, just a very quick wrap up and outro for this video. I hope you've enjoyed all the little interviews and a big thank you to all those that participated. Bill, Dan, Paul, uh, Jerry as well. It was really great to see you all and the Flylight team when you came up to Darley Moor. The Flylight trike is go it's got some more developments going on, so the whole front end, the binnacle, etc., is all being designed to cater for the, uh, the extra airspeed that this, this aircraft is able to achieve. Uh, and I know that they've already happened between when this video was made um, and me actually releasing it. So I look forward to sharing those development changes with you all. So we'll wrap this video up here. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, everybody, fly safe.